After the largest Valorant patch in history rolled out two weeks ago, much of the game changed, but it is still too early to see if Riot went overboard with the changes, or if they went too easy on several aspects of the game that needed changing. What is going on, Pro Guides family? It is your host, Sergeant Frost, and today we have the patch 3.01 patch notes. As opposed to the massive patch when episode 3 first launched, patch 3.01 will be very light as it is pretty much housekeeping for this patch cycle. But let's not waste any time and hop right into these patch notes. Sage can no longer place Barrier Orb on some projectiles while they are in the air. Now, if some of you guys aren't too familiar with this, recently there was a clip where Grim, the face of battle Sage mains, was able to create a wall on top of Viper Smoke in midair, which created some very crazy angles. It looks like Riot has decided that enough is enough, and they nerfed Sage Innovators by removing this interaction from the game. Although I feel bad for any Sage players who have been putting in hours to find new ways to use these walls, I have to say that this was probably not balanced, and it is definitely more on the side of a bugged interaction rather than an innovation of the wall's uses. Next, Riot fixed a bug where Sky was able to use Flash from Guiding Light while suppressed. Sky has been known to be able to use her Flash while CC'd, but being able to use it while suppressed is kind of too ironic, so I guess Riot decided to draw the line there. With that being said, Riot is swiftly taking care of this bug for anyone that may have experienced this. Next, Riot fixed the ability to heal KO while downed in Null CMD. The last thing KO needs is to be able to live longer than he already can while ulted. Apparently, there was a bug that allowed him to get healed by Sage or Sky heals while downed, which could extend his downtime longer. If anything though, I feel like this is better because people can't accidentally use their Sage heals or unnecessary Sky healing power while in the vicinity of KO's downed body. Finally, Riot fixed Solo's Recon Bolt projectile from looking deployed for enemies when flying through the air. I never saw this before personally, but I imagine that it gives off the impression that the arrow is already pinging before it hits a wall, which could make people panic unnecessarily. Next up, Riot fixed some bugs relating to social issues like chat and party UIs. First, they fixed a bug where you could abuse text chat colors to impersonate system messages. This is a bug that I have seen used in-game, and while I admit that it is funny to be able to use colorful language with different colors, I'm glad Riot was able to patch this system bug up quickly. Next, they fixed a bug where the invite button UI overlapped the defender coach UI in custom games. Once again, another bug I've experienced where I've tried to invite my friends to my party, but I was perpetually not able to because of the defender coach UI blocking the invite button in custom games. One way to put a damper on 10 mans with your friends is by not being able to invite your friends at all. Thank you Riot for fixing this bug before it had the potential to make some people really angry in custom games. Finally, they fixed a bug where names were appearing as question marks if you had the use generic names of players outside my party setting turned on. I haven't seen this bug personally, but I'm glad you were able to see your friends' names on your list uninterrupted again. I don't know what I would do if I opened my game client and saw that all my friends' names had disappeared, or if I got a game invite by question marks. Lastly, they fixed some progression bugs related to leveling your account. They fixed alignment issues in the observer view, they fixed account leveling issues where some of you got a lower level than intended, and they fixed visual issues affecting account leveling at the end of the game screen. And for the people who are impacted by the leveling issue, it seems like they will be compensated with the correct amount of leveling progress afterwards. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see any agent changes or bigger changes to the game, but I'm sure there will be some changes coming when Riot gets more data on the new episode. So watch out for next patch when things might go through some overhauls again. Well guys, that's all we have for the patch 3.01 rundown. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like and consider subscribing to our channel. We upload new videos just like this one every single day, and the best way to stay notified of that is by ringing that notification bell. Also, don't forget to check out ProGrads.com to gain some access to some truly amazing coaching. This has been your host, Sergeant Frost, and I will see you all again in the next video.